when most people think of the ice age they usually think of this or this but a very few people know the history behind ice ages so this video is my attempt to teach you that history so in this video we are going to learn what ice ages are what glacial and interglacial periods are what caused the first ice age and what ended the first ice age so let's start by learning what an ice age is an ice age is a period extending to millions of years of lower temperatures on earth a characteristic feature of an ice age is the presence of continental glaciers and polar caps so you know there is an ice age when the earth is filled with continental glaciers and polar caps now let's learn what glacial and interglacial periods are an ice age is composed of periods of extreme cold called glaciation periods and periods of warmth called interglaciation periods so ice ages aren't just period of extreme cold there are periods of warmth as well this may sound absurd because how could an ice age have periods of warmth but this fact is true so now that we know what ice ages and the two periods of ice ages are let's see how the first ever ice age was formed approximately 2.7 billion years ago unicellular organisms called cyanobacteria appeared on the earth surprisingly cyanobacteria started absorbing infrared light instead of visible light and started emitting oxygen in the air this process of absorbing infrared light and emitting oxygen was called primitive photosynthesis this oxygen that was emitted by the cyanobacteria removed greenhouse gases like methane that kept the planet warm as a result the earth's temperature reduced 5 degrees than what it is today this significantly cooled the earth's temperature also during that time the supercontinent of kenora land started to break up when supercontinents like these break up it causes global climate change when kenora land split up it merged with other pieces of land creating another supercontinent called columbia the splitting of kenora land and merging with other parts of land caused a lot of rifts this also heated up the seabed as a result the sea water evaporated pretty quickly and caused global rainfall this global rainfall further cooled the planet down the emission of oxygen by cyanobacteria and the splitting up of kenora land caused the first ever ice age the huronian ice age This ice age lasted around 300 million years from 2.4 billion years to 2.1 billion years. Now that we know how the first ice age was formed, let's learn how the first ice age ended. During the glaciation periods of the Huronian ice age, the sea levels dropped as there was ice all around the planet. Since there was less water and more of ice, precipitation also mm. dropped. So once the earth couldn't get any cooler and ran out of precipitation the earth slowly started getting warm because of the sun's heat also during that time the volcano started erupting releasing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases this further warmed the planet this was the interglaciation period the loss of precipitation and volcanic eruptions caused the earth to get warmer and eventually ended the first ever ice age so to recap what we learned in this video we learned that ice ages are periods of lower temperatures on earth we also learned that an ice age has periods of extreme cold called glaciation periods and periods of warmth called interglaciation periods so basically an ice age is equal to glaciation plus interglaciation periods we also saw that the oxygen released by the cyanobacteria removed greenhouse gases and cooled the planet We also learned that the splitting of Kenora Land heated up the seabed and caused evaporation and in turn caused global rainfall. The removal of greenhouse gases and the splitting of Kenora Land caused the first ever ice age. We also learned that the lack of precipitation and volcanic eruption increased the temperature of the earth thus ending the first ever ice age. So, if you had learned something new and interesting via my video Make sure to press the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we are very close to hitting 200 subscribers. 
Also, if you have any doubts, feel free to write them in the comment section or you can also email them to me. I'll see you in the next video.